that uh, he performs, you can actually find him on the E train or the F train or the A train or the C train. This guy loves to do polls. He goes all over New York City and this is what he do. He loves to do it. So the next poet on the call to stage, he performed with us several times and he goes by the name of King Master. Put your hands together for King Master. What's going on? How y'all doing? My name is Mr. King, master of the spoken word. Yeah, I perform on the subways. Um, I like to give people what they need, some inspirational thoughts. So um, I dedicate my time doing that. Um, today I'm going to change it up a little bit. Most of the time when I come out here, I'm, I'm on my militant revolutionary stuff. Um, I'm always going to be that, second generation Black Panther. But um, today I'm going to give y'all a little something, something different. Life's a bitch, right? But isn't she lovely? Most people cry the very second she's given. Divine love, aligned with the stars, arranged in heaven. She serves a purpose and has a duty, so complete it. Even if it's after the 10 second count, rise again. There was only one that went undefeated, and his record will never be repeated. You have to treat her like beauty and admire it. Treat her like a song and sing it. Treat her like a dream and realize it. Treat her like a struggle and accept it just because she's lovely. Isn't she lovely? Nothing would be possible if it had not been for her. Some say she's like a mist. Here one second, gone the next, like a blur. That morning, she never said goodbye to her chauffeur. She didn't take her diamonds, gold, pearls, her chinchilla furs. Onlookers thought it was absurd. Sympathizing in my pain after hearing me utter the words, oh my God, and lame, and go lame. She left me before I could marry her and never return. It's a shame, but I'm the only one to blame, so don't sympathize in my pain because she was lovely. Isn't she lovely? She left me, but someone else will receive her. I hope they'll treat her better than I did. I'm not talking about our past, present, and future wife. I'm talking about our past, present, and future life, kid. She's an opportunity, so benefit from it. She's a challenge, and I'll meet it. She is love, and we need it. Not having her is like Michael Jackson with no beating. You just can't see it. She's not visible to the naked eye, but through my eyes, she is lovely. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Isn't she worth dying for? She's everything we need and more. I'm sure to treat her like a lady, treat her like a queen, treat her like my baby, treat her like a dream, and created with my mind. How can I be known as the master of my craft if I never made a Mona Lisa? If I never wore a 23 jersey and made a hoop? If I never got the thug life tatted on my chest, scream 21 gun salute? If I never had a dream and taught peace? If I never said, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. If I never was betrayed by the nation and killed in front of a crowd. If I wasn't an American gangster. If I didn't raise my fist in pride and scream black power. If I never refused to sit at the back of the bus. If I never did a comedy show with every other word being a cuss. If I never ran for president. Can you imagine what life be like today? But since I did those things. Isn't she lovely? Thank you. Excuse me, miss. You. Come here. Can you come? Take your time. I've been wanting to say something to you. Since I've seen you, come, don't be afraid, you know, come on. Don't be embarrassed. How you doing? Excuse me, miss, I mean, I hate to sound lame, but I really need to know your name. I'll explain why, just give me a minute of your time to explain to you what went through my mind the second I saw you. The immediate attraction, me and more, I adore you. More than diamonds and pearls, coupled with all the beautiful things that people cherish in this world. I ask myself, how can this be? 
I don't even know her name. Love at first sight couldn't happen to me because I'm a G. Extraordinary gentleman, that is. I've been everywhere from Harlem to Hong Kong. My name is King, and I'm respected as such. But baby, when I see you, I clutch the inner me. Not just to sell the butterflies, but also to keep my soul in place. You make it want to roam free. It's so delightful being me when I'm next to you. My homie level friend, my queen, my baby, my boo. These titles I give you, and I don't even know your name. I'm not spitting game, baby, but it feels like I've known you forever, or I want to forever know you. I can't figure out the two. I hope after I ask your name, God will confirm that I was meant for you, or you for me. <laughs> There's a lot of things I'm confused about, see. I've mastered a spoken word, but for the first time, words escape me. In admiration, I gaze you over from your pets to your dreads and all, listening to the knowledge, courage, and beauty that fills your head. Your mind is so amazing. And I love those pretty brown windows to your soul that can never be bought or sold. Heart more pure than Ethiopian gold. Baby, when I see you, I want to play freeze tag with my love. No basis. You it. You are the shit. Pardon my French. J'ai vous ami, maintenant allez de les chimps. Je ne vous abrirai jamais. Quel est votre nom? Baby, I said, I love you from now to the end of time if you let me. But if not, I still will never forget you. So, what is your name? Tiffany. Well, thank you, Tiffany. This particular piece, I want to share, um, I wrote for my daughter. How many, how many fathers we got in here? We got any dads in here? I'm the only one. I wrote this piece for my daughter. Um, she has pretty brown eyes, just like me. So um, I was inspired to write. I said, oh, how I love those pretty brown eyes. Surprise, it's your firstborn. Immediate attraction, I knew a star was born. Sequence, not only because she was born that way, but that's what her birth certificates say. She's the firstborn of a king. I still remember that day. I was only 16, but I knew how to kneel down and pray. Thank you, Father. She's the exact replica of me. How can this be? She has pretty brown eyes just like me. And she can see, hear, touch and taste, learn at a fast pace. In every category, we have similar tastes. Never would I think back and want to replace the fact that she's a girl because she's my world. More precious than a pearl. Daddy's little girl. I just so happened to look over one day and see her left eye wink. It made me just think. Not only do we look alike, we have the same left blink. Our hair's the same, even our doodles smell the same when it stink. Our smiles the same, even our eyes have the same slant when they chink. But still, to my surprise, I can't get over the fact she has my pretty brown eyes. And if you look through them, you'll see a pot of gold. As so has been told, they are the windows to our soul. So don't mean to sound bold, but I stand as proud as a peacock. Because I know we got the same soul like a Reebok. Thank you.